A welcome in, everyone, to another edition of the NFL and Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good one in store between the Cleveland Browns and the San Diego Chargers. The Browns come into this one with the home crowd behind them, and that's important in a challenge game like this because you need every last bit of help you can get. So let's go now to Charlotte, North Carolina, where Jim and Phil are on the call. And Nick Novak is set now to get this game underway. The deep back is Niall Davis, who had a kick return for a touchdown in his rookie year out of Arkansas. This game has officially begun. Austin's got it. He gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Coming onto the field, the number one overall pick of the 2011 NFL Draft, Cam Newton by way of Auburn. Well, when you look back to that 2011 draft, Cam Newton was the first player picked. And I think we can all say now he was worthy of it. What a career he's had so far in three years. The Browns take it from the 23. Miller's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. And at the 49, he'll be brought down. Newton selling his play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. He makes the catch. game Phil, and already on the other side of the midfield strike nice job by the offense here good play call to Jim mixing up the plays the defense is off guard right now and the offense is taking advantage of it. first down and 10 Miller's got it first down Newton's able to show off the footwork. Wow, what a good job. Look at those feet. Like a dancer. Gets himself in very good position to throw the football. First down at the 28. Miller's got it on a pass that had some heat. Nice job that time by the tight end. Makes the catch. And you got to look out for him now in the NFL. Remember... They're usually the closest receiver to the quarterback. Quarterback gets in trouble. He's going to look for the tight end. First and ten. They're going to get him here for a sack. You know you have a good defense in the NFL when you can sack the quarterback without blitzing, and the defense did it that time. biggest game breakers in the NFL running back Jamal Charles and one of the most under publicized taken for granted not talked about enough running backs in this league Jamal Charles has just been an outstanding player in his career in the NFL halfway through this first quarter now down the field what a first series touchdown Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. The Browns with the PAT to come. Inside of the uprights. 
Miller's going to watch now as his defense gets ready to come into the game. He just put up over 50 yards receiving, helping his team go down the field for the score. And Davis is running this one out. Rivers is a man who has certainly gotten better by the year. And can you believe it? Already 12 years in this league. Listen, this team is led by Phillip Rivers. He's just a guy that's a natural-born leader. He knows how to play the quarterback position very well, and he's been awesome for many years. The Chargers, pistol set here. First down at the 23. Gordon's going to take the handoff now. Gordon's tackled down at the 43. Gordon is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. Out of the gun. Charles Johnson gets to him for the sack. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. But they don't have the blitz. And one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. And at the fifth. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Handoff by Rivers. Woodhead's tackled down after a gain of 12. Now third and five after the run. Rivers out of the gun. Snags it right out of the air with one hand. Floyd, such a great athlete. And of course, you got to be a great athlete to be able to make a catch like that. The Chargers have it at the 24. It's Mayo who brings him down. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Draw play here. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. The Browns guess right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. The Browns lined up in the nickel. Third and nine. Throws the pass. All is out. The offense was able to recover the ball. That wraps up the first quarter here in Charlotte. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second. It's the proud home of the Carolina Panthers, and it's known as Bank of America Stadium. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. That field goal narrows the gap here in the early part of the second quarter, Phil. Yeah, it was a good drive, Jim, that time. It's a morale booster. It gives you energy. It did everything for your football team. I know it was just a field goal, but I thought it was very important for the football team. Davis going to run this one out. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Chargers allowed a ton of passing yards on that last drive. Yeah, look, I, I'm not going to fault the players. I think the coverages that they used in that drive were wrong. They've got to change up this time to give the players a better chance for having some success. First down at the 24. 
Brandon Flowers picks off that pass. He's brought to a halt. That pick gives them a chance to perhaps take the lead here early in the second if they can put together a drive. Jim, I'm really anxious to see what the offensive coordinator calls here in this situation. He's got to be smart and show this defense something they haven't seen already. First and goal. In his hands. Complete. Touchdown. And here in quarter number two, they have taken the lead with that touchdown. Yeah, the offensive coordinator, boy, he's got to be happy with the play calls and the execution by the players on the offensive side. That was a good, smart drive. The Browns back now for the return, going to look to try and get back on top. Scores 10 to 7. Davis going to test the coverage this time. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. And as we get ready to get this drive started, it's apparent this offense hasn't gotten its usual jolt from the running back position. What's happened here? Look, you need your stars to play well in games to win. That is not the case here so far. The star running back having trouble finding a lane to run into, and they need to get him going if they want to win this game. Receivers can always sense when there's going to be a blitz by the defense. They know they have to be quicker. That time he was, and he gets a completion down the field. First down at the 31. It's Zach Miller with the reception. Miller's taken down at the 46. That's reception number four for him. The Browns have leaned on their tight end in the passing game to this point. Miller's been a big target. And he's making some big plays. Oh, he is making some big plays. And any time when you have a tight end good, and you just remember this, he is the closest receiver to the quarterback. So his chances of catching the football, they go up, and he's taking advantage of it. The Browns did a good job that time, throwing a pass on first down and picked up some, some nice yards. Now second and short really puts the defense in a tough position. Newton's completion percentage, 80% on the day. Look at that concentration. He's taking it all the way home for the touchdown. And we're halfway through the second quarter. And with the touchdown trip, they are now in front of this ball game. Man, this game. But that drive right there was not a good job of the defensive front. They were all over the place and allowed the offense to execute some plays and take the lead. And now here's Charles. Hey, interesting decision. I think we're going to see more two-point conversions in the league this year than ever before because kicking an extra point from the 15-yard line, it's not a gimme anymore. The Browns getting ready to kick it off. Jones has got it. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Chargers really have this offense cranking, Phil. They scored on their last two series. You know, what we see now in the NFL, so many different ways to move an offense. Screens, run plays, power plays, trick plays. Right now, everything working on the offensive side. Rivers finds Allen. to take it down. Phillip Rivers in his bolo tie. They can do it all. How about that? But on this play action fake, he's accurate with the throw. That's a good job. Rivers is four for four with that completion. Halftime is coming up. But first, we reach the two-minute warning. All right, following the two-minute warning, we've got a defense trying to maintain the lead as we head towards halftime. First and goal to go from the two. Hand off, out of the eye. Gordon's brought down after picking up only a yard. Gordon is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. 
Second and goal from the one. Tim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football, they're going to go with a pass, and if it is a pass, I would look for something quick. Third and goal from the one. Chargers in the end zone. Gordon's second touchdown of the game. Oh, what a good job there by the offense. Third and goal. And what do they do? They run the football against the defense. And nice job getting the touchdown. The Browns can perhaps get the big return and do something here before halftime. They're suddenly trailing the scores 17 to 15. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Browns looking for a repeat of their last drive as they get set for this next one. They got to the end zone on that possession, but of course immediately gave those points right back. Jim, on the offensive side, everything is clicking. The quarterback's hot. The offensive line's doing an awesome job. Receivers getting open. The running back's running hard. It is fun to watch. That's second down coming up. Well, it doesn't get much worse than this, does it? You're losing the football game. Now you're looking at third and long. And look, there are no miracles in the NFL. I'll tell you that. So be smart. If the play is not there, don't force it. Dump it off and wait for the next time you get it. The Browns will take the snap from the 30. And this will be incomplete. It'll be a three and out. Well, you're down. It's in the first half. You got fourth and long near midfield. This is a no-brainer. I think the coach, don't even think about it. Send that punting team in there. Put the football in play field position. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. The Browns will take the snap from the 30. Launching it deep. The ball is charged loose. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And it leads to another incomplete pass. The Chargers come out for the next possession, having reached the end zone on each of their two previous drives. Yeah, it's been good stuff to watch, no doubt. You know, the offensive side, the offensive coordinator is right in tune with the quarterback. They're calling exactly the plays that they need, need to be called because of the situations. And the quarterback has been hot throwing the football. It's first down as they head to the line. The Browns will come out in the dime. Rivers will take the snap from the gun. And it's batted down. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. Second and goal from the nine. Pass Allen. Ball is out. And the defense has it. Green's there to make the tackle. Great job by the defense. Forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there. Forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. Ah, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. If nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses. Charles has got it on the handoff. Slashes to the left side. The Chargers call a timeout. They're first. Looking to avoid a safety here on third down. And they'll run the football with Charles. They bring him down. Fails to pick up a first down on three plays.
after that timeout by the defense, play is ready to resume. The Browns will risk it here, going for it on fourth down. And Cooper is able to get hold of it. Cooper's tackled down at the 24. The Browns will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Now first and ten. Going for the home run. He brings it in. Touchdown appears that it will secure them to halftime lead as the second quarter is winding down here. Well, they sure hope it does. There's nothing like going in at halftime with the lead. You just feel like all the hard work you put in the week, you, you put it to good use, and you want to keep that lead going in at halftime. Tosses the football. So, put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. He executed the play perfectly, and he got in the end zone, like you said. He got that two points. It's Jones on the return. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Chargers offense has gotten them back into the game here in the second quarter. Boy, they needed it from the offense. That's right, because their defense is struggling. But they turned things around the offensive side, Jim, because of just outstanding quarterback play. First down at the 21. That's a gain of 10. The Chargers have to call one right here, and they do. And they are out of timeouts. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. First down at the 31. Wants to go deep. And that's to Lee, who almost came away with a pick. We've reached halftime, and we'll be sending it back to our studio.
and Larry Ridley as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. The second half is officially underway. And no return here. So Rivers will start this drive from the 20. The Browns defense trying to crack down yet again on the opposition, leading through two quarters and leading the way for this team. I like the way they played in the first half on the defensive side, so make sure you don't lose that thought process and that confidence that you gain in what you did. Short has the sack. Well, defensive tackles so many times are in charge of stopping a run, but not this time. The big fella, good move. At the snap of the football, gets in that backfield and gets the sack. Double tight end formation. Here's the handoff. And it's Eric Weddle who makes the tackle. It's third down coming up. Rippers out of the gun. And he's going to be dropped. And that's a three and out for the offense. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down. And that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. Now the call on Cypress to punt the football. Davis got it on the return. Tackled down at the 47. That return's good for about 13. The Browns offense takes the field. Let's see if this momentum can carry over from the first half because they have been brilliant to this point, partner. Yeah, a lot of things change in that locker room at halftime. You know, you, you might feel good about what you've done. Of course, you've got to realize the defense might be upset and is willing to come out here and take more chances in the second half. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Zach Miller makes the catch. And Weddle is able to bring it to an end. Miller's a big target, but he plays that tight end position like he's a wide out, Phil. Yeah, you know what you see now, Jim? It used to be everything was focused around the wide receiver. He was the number one guy in the passing offense. But now we see many tight ends who are the number one option, just like we're seeing here today. And they'll give it to Jamal Charles. Power surge. Touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O line. to the outside so many things you can do for the two-yard line now in the nfl all the teams can spread you out they can run it the quarterback can keep it the pick plays the passes very tough for the defense to stop the two-point conversion jones will test the coverage gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. 
the Browns have been all about defense here of late. Three and out the last time they were on the field. Yeah, it was a really good drive by them, just stopping the offense so quick. And uh, it looked every aspect worked well. The coaches had to be really happy with the defense. Woodson's the one who brings them to the ground. Second down and three following that nice run. The Browns' defense now is going to go nickel. Rivers is back in shotgun formation. Rivers over to Malcolm Floyd. The Chargers will take the snap from the 40. Wide to the left. The ball was out. And the recovery is made by the defense. The defense comes up with the big play. The hit and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. After nearly turning it over, it's second down. You see linebackers moving like this, they're trying to confuse the offensive line. Philip Rivers from the shotgun. Malcolm Floyd has the reception. The line of scrimmage is the 38 yard line. Rivers out of the gun. Ladarius Green comes away with the catch. After the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. Rivers will take the snap from the gun. And the grab is made by Ladarius Green. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. One more snap and another quarter is in the books. First down at the 19. The Chargers offense tries to continue some momentum. Still possessing the football as the final quarter gets underway. Second and short following the run. Final quarter begins with this snap. Green on the receiving end. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. First and goal. Gordon's going to secure the handoff. Campbell's all over that offense and brings him down. What a job by the defense down on the goal line. They were playing run all the way. It was a run. They got the penetration, and they tackled the runner for a loss. Second and goal from the eight. When you get third goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Only eight yards to go. The Browns defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Third and goal from the eight. Pass it. Touchdown.
important was that touchdown early in the fourth here, Phil, to stay in the game. Oh, it was huge. They needed something. They needed a little lift here to try to get them in position where they can finish this game off. A lot of pressure now on their defense. Can they go out there and be aggressive, make a play, and get that football back for their offense? Davis has got it on the return. The Browns on a quest for their third straight scoring drive here, Phil. They've been having their way with that defense on these last few possessions. Well, let me say this, Jim. It's not that easy to score points in the NFL. Not the way they're making it look. And they're confident. And they look like they're fast. They're fresh. They're rusted. It's been fun to watch. The Browns, they never back off. That first down, they got a small lead here in the second half. What are they looking to do? They're looking to march this football down the field and score. First down at the 45. He takes it on the counter. That's a gain of eight. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. Charles, left side. And he's going to be tackled right around the 43. He's averaging right around seven yards per carry on the game. First down here. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football. I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. Gets the handle here. Marine out to the right. And a dies there to make the tackle. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing. So they make that fake one way and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. Back now following the two-minute warning. The offense wants to just hold on to the lead to the end. Charles out to the right. That's a timeout call. Now third and four following the run. The Browns have to get to the 33 for a first. Toss to the outside. Running room. What a run by Charles. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. First and goal from the 10. Here's another handoff. Butler is there to take him down. And they'll try to conserve time here with this timeout. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Second and goal from the nine. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Browns. Well, how many times can we say it, Jim? Another touchdown pass by the quarterback. He has... Uh, to say it, he is really on. He is feeling it. When they get open, he is making terrific throws. And the extra point is good. The Chargers ready to return the kick. turn here so Rivers will start this drive from the 20 the Browns defense comes onto the field after surrendering a touchdown on the last drive well they're hoping for better results no question about that Jim they got to come out they got to hustle there was not enough hustle last time and the number is play hard they have to call him out there partner they line and complete that's his fourth catch of the day first down pressure on every snap now Green set now, split out wide to the left. Rivers out of the gun. Rivers finds Allen. Second down coming up. Time obviously a factor the rest of the way. Well, there's just no other option for the offense right here. They got to go to the hurry up because they have no timeouts left. So get as many plays off as you can. Third 
down coming up, needing a first at this point. The Browns with a nickel look here on defense. The Chargers will take the snap from the 45. It's caught by Green. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. First down at the 47. Melvin Gordon makes the reception. Woodson's in on the tackle. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. Time continues to tick away as they'll rush back to the line. A critical moment in this game as it's third down. With about a minute to go, they're going to need every break possible. First, they must score on this possession. The Chargers have it at the 39. And the QB is hit and dropped by Short. They'll go for it on fourth down. Late stages. Rivers has got it in the gun. And it's swatted away. The Browns offense heading back onto the field to start the drive after the result of their last possession was a touchdown. You think they've got another one in them, partner? Oh, I absolutely do. Look, I mean, just look at them. They've got a good football team. The quarterback has great confidence and talent. And you put those scenes together, that makes you good. It makes you dangerous. And I wouldn't be surprised to see him march down there again. The line of scrimmage, the 48. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. And it falls incomplete. Third down following the incompletion. Third and ten. Cam Newton unleashes the long pass. Offense back on the field here for this fourth and ten play. Back at the line. They're going for it on fourth. to go deep the Chargers defense probably in shock that the offense went for it on fourth and long and they come up with the stop well look I'm in shock I don't even know what to say and you know I like to talk a lot that that leaves you speechless you're gonna have to you're gonna have to answer a lot of questions when this game is over about that decision Philip Rivers unloading the long pass and Woodson with a near interception Second and ten coming up. One more play, and it's in the books. And he's sacked, and that should do it. They won't get another playoff here. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same, that I enjoyed spending these last <laughs> three hours with you, but that's just not the case. But, no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. They got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little tonight. I think I'll see you next week, maybe. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.